Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So we already started a reading, but Cooper had a bark attack. And so we are going to start over. I don't know if any of that message will bleed through this, but it, um, it really just started, so. We're gonna start new and fresh. We're just gonna let that go, right? A false start, we'll just call it, and regroup ourselves and make another fantastic story with what we got. Being flexible. Okay, so the cards we have out here are saying one of these this one's the guide this is the energy that we're gonna bring in they say what element okay it's two and so from very far away you can see what stands out the most orange orange and purple orange and blue orange and indigo they're saying all right i never i never quite think of indigo i kind of blue to purple um let's see so one, one here is more um, spirit and that. And then this one here is the more earthly air and fire energy. So we got the orange gold dragon. From Octarius. Which is all about golden age. It says carry the energy of the future and be a guiding light. So we're gonna bring in some Octurian energy. And then we got this one with the air and fire dragon. And it says, expand your creative energies, harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. So it's all about harnessing that golden energy. And I almost, I almost was ready to continue on the last story. And I said, no, it's a fresh new start. And so it's really, really letting go of the old narrative, the old story. And so that one was, was actually kind of starting off, I don't want to say like there's a positive or negative, good or bad, but it was starting with a little bit of discomfort or a challenge, a challenge we'll say. So we're just gonna say, right, you gotta deal with your stuff, but some challenges are just meant to be let go and starting fresh. Take your time and energy and put it, like we said at this, this reading, into a new story, a new narrative, right? So. They're showing me multiple diamonds. That each diamond before, and I got that from this card, um, right here, right? The, 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 <laughs> The volcano erupted and now all this was coming down. Here it came on as earthly challenges. Um, each challenge that you kind of went through, I'm getting like a new hurdle, a new hurdle, a new hurdle. Um, but what did it turn into? All that pressure. Well, on the 3D, it doesn't, you don't see how much growth you've had because the actual physical denseness of all this takes a while to form. But in the spirit, in the, in the ethers more say, we'll say 5D and those things, things manifest so much quicker, so much easier. Um, things, yeah, just at rapid acceleration rates. And usually it goes there and then it trickles down to here. But in this case, um, it's like the blessings are still there. They've already happened. It just hasn't trickled down here yet. So in the 3D, this person is, um, it's raining fire. Like how often does that happen? Not often, throughout history it has. And on a soul level, those can really leave some deep wounded trauma bonds. Um, but here you are living your life again, letting it rain fire. And you're like, you know what? I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this. And then what happens is all that pressure they're showing like you know gold uh, gold well golden energy yeah that's this one um they're showing silver lining they're like no you don't even need the silver lining we're just gonna go for gold that's what they say or start over and just go for gold 
um, no finding the positive and the negative and just staying there. They're like, no, we're wrapping up. We're going to put a nice bow on it. We're going to move it on down the line um, because these lessons and these things and this is a gift, but it's no longer your gift. It's time to let someone else learn those lessons because those lessons are valuable for every soul to grow and evolve. Send it off with love. But what happens from the rain fire? Um, as we said, it's already working in the 3D. It's going to bring itself down here now. Um, and that's where the sparkles are now. It went from rain fire to they're showing like carbon to diamond pressure, sparkling, shining in gold, in your golden energy. Okay, that's cool energy to bring in. So we'll put those there as our little, little watchers. If you want to stay, there we go. And so what's going on? I'm being guided over to these ones first. Okay, I'm seeing someone very much just not trusting the process that everything that they've put all their time, effort, and energy, um, is those efforts going to pay off? When is the reward going to come? And so these are all in reverse, but we have leader, we have path of Hercules, and then we have the star father. So star father is, as we said, up in here in the 5D, it's already flowing. Things have already formed and, you know, living harmoniously there. It just is taking time to work its way here for you to physically see. It's almost like we're the last to know, but we're the one doing all the work, which is the hero's journey. Um, let's talk about oh, path of Hercules, which is the hero's journey. And so it's conquering Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, right, knowing that it's going to happen with our guides in spirit, right? Path of Hercules is going over every single one of these challenges, right? Swimming through oceans, going over the toppest uh, mountains, and then there's the stars. This is right there. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> there we go. That's where that, that, that's where that's place is. It's among the stars. And the reason why I know it's among the stars is because we've got some Octarian energy coming through. And they're so wise. So we really need this energy to come on down into Earth and ground it more back in there. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. So we're going to keep these two together. We're going to call this, oh, this must be Zeus. Because is that, that Hercules? father because this is star father um which now they're showing me back to this card not the same right zeus is all about lightning and stuff but the the raining fire kind of reminded me of lightning right they keep showing me pompeii for some reason so let's put zeus back in there what is zeus jupiter jupiter energy Okay, so Path of Hercules. Let's put Octarius back. We got the stars. It's it's really working your way up. And that's what the challenge is. It's like when you're down here among the rocks, like it it's barren. It feels like you have so much work and effort to put through. But you are slowly working your way that way. And as we said, it's always there. It's got your back um, no matter what. And it's bringing this above, this golden Octarian energy into the earth to radiate within. Because this one card said, be a guiding light, right? Bring in the light from your source. What is your source? So, the leader in reverse. Again, that was just kind of tapping into... Um, thinking of the 3D and the things that we physically see um, really are dictating how things are. It's not how things are. So you really need to lead with a bold heart and go for your dreams and bring those manifestations into reality. Um, especially if it is something to do from star seeds um, calling and things like that. 
I 100% always encourage you to be your unique, quirky, individual, weirdo self because the world loves you for that. Absolutely. So then over here, we got three more cards. This is a fairly quick reading today. So, interesting. Okay, so I said in that last reading, we weren't going to really bring that, but it showed up. And so because it's here showing up, we're going to kind of bring that back in. But before it was like, um, let's just talk about what we got. We got the, the spirit whisperer. And so on the card that did come out, I wonder if I can find it. So on the card that came out, it was a girl and she was wearing a swan, swan like tutu. And, and there was two swans there as well. And it talked about how the two swans were her guides and how on the other card was all about whispering. Here they are. Okay. So we got the spirit whisperer. So what I like about, so this is the two original cards. We're not going to focus on it too, too much, but the cosmos was in reverse and this moon was whispering. The two whispers that it told to really focus on and to work within was that self negative critic uh, whisper or um, actually gossiping and and those kind of things. So with, what's different with this reading and how it's not really gonna focus in on those things, right? There's a lot of, especially when you deal with energy and these kind of things, you can really go into a detail or situation, but do you have to? You really don't. Um, that's why I was, my guides are like, you only focus on yourself and you go within and figure out how you are and change your actions so that it reflects on the outside. Um, and it doesn't matter what those people say or do or whatever. And uh, yeah, so the whispering, rather than listening to the outside sources and what people are saying and what I'm seeing is their perception of, of your lack of manifestations keeps you stalled longer because what do they really know? Because it's not their heart or energy that's tapping into it, but they do see the hard work that you're putting in, the hero's journey, the Hercules mountains to climb. And so, yeah, rather than listening to those gossip, it was like, you really need to embrace the, the, the guides. There was two of them and see she she's so similar right so we'll say that we'll, we'll call these our octarian guides there is a part of the soul that resonates with that but but it's not that this time this time it's something different and that message didn't come out in the last reading because we didn't have the octarian card we didn't bring in that energy so rather than ooh, going back to this dun, dun. To bring in the energy going back going back okay um yeah with the lack of that bringing it here and holding that holding that frequency in you in your heart those kind of things um that changed the situation whereas the whispers before really were harmful but these whispers aren't these ones are source. These ones are connected. They say we can get rid of these cards now. That story is done and complete and we don't need to talk about it anymore. So the spirit whisper. And what I liked about that was over here, um, we had the winged, the winged wise ones, angelic help, meticulous aid, miraculous aid. And then there's a little dove there. Um, oh, even cooler it's like in that last card as i said she's connecting to the swans we're going to take away that octarian thing um she's connecting to the swans right she's dressed like them to look like them act like them wanting to be like them but when we look at this card over here it's a dove it's angelic help it's angel wings it's it's a different feather 
they look the same, but it's a little different. So now let's bring back in the Octarians because why not? So last card that we have to pull is the Altar Priestess in Reverse. It says preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. There, I don't know why I feel called to tap this repetitive pattern, and, but that's weird. Um, and the thing that really stands out to me as I look at this, I'm seeing, they're telling me about the dripping. It's a, it's like a sink, you know, and like the tap goes, doop, doop. It's something like that. I'm feeling like it's a, a reminder of like time or, um, actions and consequences. You know, you have like those balls are like, I'm seeing that. Um, and it's like, yeah, something to do with time and action and consequences with whatever energy you put it, put it, put out. Oh, it is standing out image wise was, um, there's a star right there. And then, uh, these cards all had the star father working your way to the stars. Here we got winged wise ones, which are high up. Um, we got air and fire, volcanoes exploding, going up. We've got golden galactic, which is up, 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 get up for someone. Get up right now. You go get up and move. It's lifting, lifting. Um, the more and more things pull and get heavy, um, the, I don't know, something to do with up right now. Let me see what this is about. I'm seeing everything lift up and out of someone. Uh, so they want to go back to this. It's like this, this energy is kind of happening right now. We'll, we'll call this your soul or your body or something, but um, it's leaving. This is your body. This is your soul. And it's like, all right, floating away, floating away. And now what? And it's really saying, bring, bring it back. It's not that way. It's this way. You really need it to go this way for right now. So I don't feel like that's a complete story. All the cards are red. Let's see if we can look through and see if there's a mishmash of anything else that wants to go into here. Okay, they're like, you didn't really look at this one. Okay, so this is a three. This card is three and this one is nine. No, it's a seven. Oh yeah, earlier I heard and I didn't say it, but third time's a charm. That's what they said for someone. It's like, when is my turn? When is my turn? You know, I went and did this, it didn't work. I went and did it again. And now that second time, that second blow of not seeing it come down yet, the manifestations was a real blow for someone I'm seeing. And it's like third time is a try. Third try is a charm. However the saying goes. Um, so keep trying. If it's really meant, if that's what your heart and that's what everything, um, uh, I just, I feel like this is someone who's just ready to give up on their dream because they have tried twice and both times just wasn't energetically able to hold the space for it quite yet. There were some other things that had it to be at play. And so they're saying like, third time, go for it. Because when did I see that? I seen, okay, I heard that so many times and I seen it a couple times, why? I heard it on this card um, when I looked at the star and I really saw it 
pulling the energy down, that's when I heard third time's a, tr a charm because it's really anchored and grounded now. The, the, the soul, the grounding, the connection, it's there. And okay, they're showing me that someone, someone crying. in real sadness, real deep, deep sadness. And they're like, think about when you are in that sadness, right? Cause you know, when we're really happy, we, we forget to be grateful and do gratitude. Um, and that's kind of the communication, right? Um, prayer and gratitude are the same. It's just a different direction of talking. So when you're in your highest high, you should be grateful. And we forget because that's being like, thank you for, for the things that you brought being here. But when you're at your lowest and you don't want to be in that place, we tend to ask and try to lift up out of that. So um, when you're at your saddest, they say, I'm just picturing someone like in a, at their breakdown. What are the things that you're asking for? Um, because those, those tend to be the deepest, rawest, most simplistic things that we we truly want, right? Um, your very dark night of the soul. What is it that you you wish to the universe and ask for? And so, I've I've I'm getting that this person's already had that moment. They know what they asked for in that moment, and so not physically seeing it happen yet. Um, it's like don't worry, like. They're going back to that tapping. It's like things are in motion. Uh, your guides are really, you've already asked your guides. If you haven't asked your guides, I would build that connection and have them help you work through things. Cause man, it just makes life so much easier. But um, if you've already asked your guides for it, it's having that trust and belief that they're working it all out and, and things should be fine. That it is gonna come in the timing in the most perfect way for you to have it presented. Yeah. But the winged wise ones, it says angelic help and miraculous aid. So just trust, just trust. Even though I feel like crash and burn has happened two other times, they're saying third time is a charm. There's a really weird sound outside. Anyways, um, anything else? Yeah. Then to take that and trust, once you have that trust that everything's working, because you already asked your guides. Um, if not, I can't tell you what to do, but I strongly suggest always working with yourself and your guides and your intuition to build your dreams. Because who else would have your back more than, than them? Like that's their whole purpose is just you and and coming here to learn those soul lessons that you came for those gifts that you're ready to ship off now i think that was this reading i hope i didn't say it in the last one if not whatever okay and then stepping into the leader role we're gonna leave it there um yeah good luck whatever whatever round three is for you um I hope your heart is overjoyed with love and abundance because it seems like this person's been waiting a really, really long time for that. And yeah, yeah, you deserve, you deserve. That's all you need to know. Bye guys.